Hello, welcome po to our YouTube channel, Noel PTV. I'm Noel Uribio. I'm your uh, um, aspiring naturopathic physician and also the physical therapist here at the Integrative Physical Therapy and Wellness Center. So our, our topic for this week in the comic would be seven power boosts to our immune system against COVID, the coronavirus, infectious disease, and other diseases. So I hope you would join our daily live streams here on YouTube. Ayan. So, naka-set up na po ako sa YouTube if you would join me on the live chat. Much appreciated po. Sir Mario, ma'am, my mother is getting better po. Pinapaupo na namin siya ngayon. Um... Nandun po si Ate Alma ngayon, wala siyang klase. So, she's taking care of mom. Umuwi po yung caregiver pero may isang kasama din po sa bahay. Thank you very much po sa tulong ninyo. I'm starting earlier. Our our scheduled live stream is at 11 a.m., but I'm starting earlier because it might seem that I would have an 11 a.m. client today. Kung wala, tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo. So medyo robust yung topic. We have a very robust topic on the seven power boosts to our immune system against the coronavirus infectious disease. So we'll be discussing what our risks may be. Are we really at risk? Sino yung ibang hindi at risk? Why do other frontliners like myself um, remain and stay healthy and functional despite the high risk for infection for the COVID and other diseases? Good morning. So welcome po to our YouTube channel, Noel PTV. Today is Sunday morning, the 24th of May, 2020. I'm broadcasting live po dito sa Integrative Physical Therapy and Wellness Center sa San Fernando City, La Union, Philippines. Today I will be sharing some um, inputs on assessing if we are really high at risk for the COVID and other infectious diseases and how can we power boost our immune system against these infectious diseases. Hello, Ma'am Edlyn. Thank you po for coming. So, hintay lang po tayo ng mga kasama natin. We're scheduled for 11 a.m. po, pero may, baka may dumating pong client. I'm still waiting. Uh, so, I'd better start 10 a.m. Nandito naman na ako. And then... Ano na lang, magre-review na lang tayo sa mga iba. I usually live stream every day, 11 a.m. Um, except kung nasa Urdaneta Clinic pa ako kasi very poor yung internet connection doon. So dito sa San Fernando La Union, may DSL connection so it's better. Hello Ma'am Lihani, welcome po sa live ko. If you would come to our YouTube channel and support sa ating live stream today, so please subscribe to my channel, Noel PTV. Thank you po.
Hello Florence. Hindi ako mabili, makabili ng cream puff because I'm decreasing my sugar intake. So thank you for joining our 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 live today. Please join us on YouTube. So, uh, subscribe to my channel, Noel PTV. Tapos mag-discuss tayo ngayon paano palalakasin yung katawan against the COVID and other diseases. Ma'am Edlyn, I started live stream on YouTube last Sunday lang po. And I'm supposed to do this every day, pero due to technical problems, dapat pang 8th day ngayon, so I'm still on my 7th day. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm preparing my YouTube channel to be a source of information for health and wellness and other topics for sharing among friends. Ayan. So for the essential oils, I'm still pushing this po for our immune function pa din. I'm still a fan of the um, Dutera essential oil line, pati po dun sa ano, sa... Ano yung favorite ko na na oil? Top of my head, pero mamaya maalala po natin. I'm so, parang excited po ako to share ngayon about the topic. So, ayun. Last week, we also had a discussion on, on citrus fruits. Sana yung lemon at saka yung calamansi. And then I shared the variety of benefits that the citrus and the fruits would give us, especially yung rind, yung cover niya. So yung peel that um, produces the essential oils for the lemon and calamansi and other citrus fruits. Yeah. Medyo na paaga lang po ng one hour. <laughs> Kaya tulog pa yata yung mga ibang participants. Pero ayan, thank you po for coming. So while we're waiting for the others, Parang let's have a, a short discussion, a mini assessment of our risks. Kung are we at minimum, moderate, or high risk of infection? Um, obviously, a lot of us would would be in, would still be home and away from the risk of contracting the infectious disease. Pero we never know who has the COVID already. Yung mga nagdadala, like myself as a frontliner, so I go out. My immune function is strong, asymptomatic ako, so parang wala akong condition. Pero kung may expose ako sa mga less yung functional function ng immune system nila, they would contract the disease. Ganun. So we still use, no? when we go out, we still need to use the, the mask. So I'm using the KN95, medyo makapal siya. So the KN95 mask. So shout out to Sir Ezekiel. So siya yung pinag-orderan ko po nito. Ayan, so ang maganda sa KN95, so it, no, it seals the area papasok doon sa ilong at bibig. And also we have a face shield to protect our eyes. So if you have goggles, mas okay na naman siya. Hello, Maria Ele Ellen Zamoranos. Hello, Joan Insan. Welcome sa live natin ngayong umaga. If you would, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Noel PTV. Tapos may live stream tayo. Ongoing na yung live stream sa YouTube. Come join us so you can um, share with the live chat on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, good morning po. Salamat po sa mga hearts and likes niyo. So if you would come to YouTube, much better po so we can have the lively discussion and the live stream.
Ayan, mag-start na po tayo na few minutes. Medyo ano lang, nag-set up pa lang po ng ilang technical settings. Na. May feedback po kasi. Okay, so if you are on YouTube, um, please subscribe to my channel, Noel PTV. Yeah. So, Ma'am Edlyn and the others who are online right now, uh, good morning po. So how do we know that we are at risk? No, mayroong several risk factors that we need to discuss, no? So, siya ay anim. Ay actually lima lang. And before we can make over our immune system, so we need to know what our risk factors would be. So number one is, syempre, smoking pa din. So coronary, uh, or corona, coronavirus infectious disease affects the uh, pulmonary system, so respiration pa din. So if we are um, smoking, no, we are at risk, a higher risk of heart disease as well as cancer. No, cancer sa lungs, esophagus, bladder, breasts, and cervix. Ayan. So may studies na po dito done to show that. So if we are smoking, then most probably we will be at a higher risk for the COVID, cor the coronavirus infectious disease and other diseases. So stop smoking and your immune function will improve within 30 days. So 30 days po na lilinisin ng katawan, yung uh, latak, the poison that we get from the cigarettes. So that's very common. If we, if we, how about secondary? Smoke, tertiary smoke is the same thing. So if we are exposed to cigarette smoke, so we are at a higher risk for the infection and our immune function will be compromised. Secondly, stress. No? Parang gas-gas na lagi na lang na if we are stressed, so we are also prone to diseases. Although, ano siya talaga, textbook siya na there are several researches done. Hello Paul, welcome sa live. Please support me on my YouTube channel. Ah, Naka-live stream tayo ngayon. So, wh what does stress do to our immune system? Ayan. So, it weakens the um, immune system's ability to repair and defend. No? Chronic stress shown to reduce levels of B and T cells affect responsive, responsiveness of NK cells and lower levels of antibodies secreted in saliva. So, ano ba yung mga stress na to? So, stress is in the form of work, no? yung overwork natin, so maghapon. I guess that's why we should only have around 8 hours of work, so more than that would be detrimental to our immune function. Or, we might want to have um, breaks in between work. So, wag dire diretso. So, what's more, long-standing stress appears to result in inflammation. So, yun yung pinaka-common na problem din sa katawan. So, inflammation, inflammation caused by chronic stress. So, ito yung um, process regulated by cytokines. No? Uh, they are linked to heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and other chronic illnesses. So, if we have family members or friends who have diabetes and heart disease. Hello, Ilona. Welcome to our channel, Noel PTV. Please log into YouTube and join our live stream and live chat. If you have friends, family members, and even clients who have diabetes, who have arthritis, um, heart disease, and other chronic illnesses, the number one risk factor that you would see is chronic stress in the form of overwork or May that be physical stress, emotional stress, or psychological stress, no? So yung sobra-sobra sa normal load natin every day would be considered as, as stress, no? Overstress na. Hello po, Gloando Maguin. Welcome, Rosemary Nartates. So join us po on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel, Noel PTV. Ayun. So we have identified cigarette smoking, whether it be... Uh, primary, secondary, or tertiary smoke. So kahit hindi tayo naninikarilyo, if we inhale the smoke or even the smell of the smoke 
on the clothes of those who smoke, so that would still decrease our immune system. And if we stop smoking, after 30 days, our body will regain the level of immune function that it needs to ward off diseases. So yung stress naman, so it decreases the immune response of the body, the B cells, T cells, and NK cells, all this would um, work together to prevent inflammation in the body. So kung walang mga function ng mga cells na ito, we will, it will result to chronic inflammation and disease like diabetes, heart disease, um, in, uh, arthritis, and other chronic illnesses would ensue. Ayun. So thirdly, ano pa, ang aside from stress? Ayun. So my mom is experiencing now uh, Parkinson plus syndrome. Ang nakita ko dati na trabaho niya kasi, her business ay yung gowns ng mga kinakasal, ganun. gowns ng mga kinokoronahan, yung mga rena-rena. So most of most often she was sleep deprived, no? So my sleep deprivation siya to the point na she would only sleep around 2 hours or 3 hours at night just to have all the uh, tasks done in preparation for an event. So ganun. So yung even Alzheimer's and other brain conditions are linked to sleep deprivation. So there are studies being done right now. So how much sleep do we need? No? So eight hours, yung nakakatulog daw, less than eight hours of sleep a night on weekdays no? would lead to certain conditions. So that's not enough for the immune system, sabi niya. So if we get less than eight hours of sleep a night on weekdays, no? that's not enough for the immune system. So magkakaroon tayo ng sleep deficit. It's like the stress. Meron din siyang utang. No? So it would lead to chronic low-grade system-wide inflammation. So unti-unti, pagkulang tayo sa tulog, no? so magkakaroon ng problema sa different body systems natin. So in the heart, the lungs, the digestive system, the urinary system, so lahat ng systems ng katawan. Okay. So the immune system returns to normal once we get the sleep we need. Ayan. So the problem is damage might have been done during the time that your immune system left you undefended and susceptible to infection. So, hello, good morning po, uh, Ma'am Gold Bangloy. Ma'am, login po kayo sa YouTube if you would join us and subscribe to my channel, Noel PTV. So we are on live streaming sa YouTube po. So you can join the live chat. Ayun. So, Eight, less than eight hours a night during weekdays no? ay kulang na kulang. So we need to get our sleep time. No? So how long do you sleep each night? So ano ba? Pwede bang kung gabi yung work mo, you sleep in the morning? Um, ideally, hindi ganun. <laughs> so yung biorhythm natin, yung bio clock natin, body clock natin, knows when it is time to sleep and when it is time to wake up. So, but if you do not have a choice, like your duty is at night and you have to uh, work at night and sleep in the mornings, then you have to prepare your room. So darken your room, minimize noise. So if you can play ambient noise, like yung uh, tunog ng crickets that are usually at night, then it would help to um, parang reboot our system to thinking that it is already night and the normal process of sleep would ensue. Okay, so next is uh, you move too little or too much. So ito na yung part ng where physios, physical therapists come in. So when we do not move normally, no, like patients who are bedridden or bedbound, no, so uh, basically the immune function will also go down. So what is so important with movement? Inactive lifestyles raise the risk of chronic health problems. So same thing pa din, lifestyle diseases. No? So heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. So ganun pa din. So if we do not move enough, so inactivity may lower the immunity. Ayan. So my study done, they compare those who are inactive with those who took brisk walks nearly every day. So 
kinumpara nila yung uh, couch potato lang tapos yung naglalakad ng nearly or almost every day. So, four-month period of study. So, yung mga naglalakad, the walkers took half as many days, uh, six days as the non-walkers. So, walking is a very good form of exercise to prevent the lifestyle diseases. So, it is proven by studies already. Okay, brisk walk has positive effect on the activity and number of NK cells and neutrophils, immune cells that kill foreign invaders and trigger the immune response. Ayon. So moderate exercise also helps regulate immune system and hormones that influence the healing process. Of course, kung meron na kayong sakit like my fever, you are not uh, encouraged to increase your activity. So instead, magdi-decrease ka muna to let your body heal. Pero we are talking of prevention. So if we walk every day, thank you po. Uh, thank you po, ma'am, Edlin. So if we walk every day, no, we increase our immune system. We have a direct control on the neutrophils, yung mga white blood cells natin na lumalaban sa sakit. And the COVID, the virus itself, would actually be uh, ward off by these white blood cells. No? So yung immune system natin, we have an uh, innate, no? a God-given power to fight these infectious diseases. Pero if we are at risk of um, low immune, functions, uh, immune function, then we are at risk of having these diseases. Okay, so aside from walking, another activity... Hello, Stephen Blaise Hernando. If you would join us on YouTube, please subscribe to you, Noel PTV. Ayan. So aside from walking, that also increases our immune function. Another activity would be a treadmill or stationary bike. Okay. And uh, training with weights three times a week. That was they compare this group of men who did those activities, comparing them with inactive men. So yung mga workout group sa and they use the wound healing as a measure, no? So may grupo ng kalalakihan yung mga with activity. So they use uh, weights to exercise three times a week, and then they do the um, stationary bike and treadmill, and they check on wound healing. So the wound healing, the average of ten days, no, uh, is sooner for the active group than those in sedentary group. So, wound healing yon. So, that means that the immune system, the ability of our body to heal is directly um, directly increased by our physical activity. So, kung, walang, kung very inactive tayo, like our heart rate would still be at 60 beats per minute the whole day, so hindi nag increase yung heart rate natin, ibig sabihin, relax lang yung puso natin. So the immune system is also at a relaxed level. So hindi siya nasa battle, battle mode to fight away these diseases. Okay, the sedentary group did 29 days versus 39. So it took only 29 days for the men with activity to have wound healing compared to the inactive group of men who took 39 days for wound healing. Ayan. Okay. How about in diabetes? No? So if persons have diabetes, can we increase the rate of wound healing in people with diabetes who would increase their physical activity? The answer is a resounding yes. So in diabetes, where there is a great risk of having wounds, no, because my decreased uh, ability of the body to heal the wounds in diabetic persons, we need to increase their physical activity. May it be stationary bike, or simple walking, or treadmill, or low weights, not done three times a week, would actually increase the immune system in diabetic persons. Okay. Okay, how about if you increase your exercise? Pag susobrahan ba natin yung activity natin, mas mataas din yung level ng immune function natin. 
like you would jog for three hours instead of 30 minutes to 45 minutes or one hour maximum. Gawin ko na lang kayang apat na oras yung jogging ko to boost, no power boost. Uh, is the answer is a resounding no. So there is a level, a threshold for activity for the immune function to be optimal. Pag sobra-sobra yung physical activity, that would lead to degradation of our, our bodies, our tissues, and also overwork, no? overstress sa uh, cardiopulmonary system, sa puso, sa baga, sa muscles, sa joints. No? Okay, at least for immune function, working out too hard and for too long actually suppress the immune system. So people who work too long, ang haba, no? So like 12 hours na magjo-duty, no? or overtime ng overtime just to para sa ekonomiya, no. Hello po, uh, Rumel Kabading, welcome po to our live. If you would join us on YouTube, please support my channel, Noel PTV. Ayan. So people who are working out too hard and for too, too long actually suppress the immune system. Sobra-sobrang trabaho, sobra-sobrang physical activity, mas at risk ka for COVID and other infectious diseases. Kasi hindi na magpa-function optimally yung immune system mo. Okay. So yung mga nagma-marathon, no? yung marathon runners who run long distances, mga 26.2 miles. So in kilometers times 1.2 yon mahaba-haba. So siguro mga 30 kilometers up, no? So one study uh, after marathons, no? People who do marathons get sick after 26.2 mile run. So nagfi-fever sila, uh, nilalagnat, nagkakasakit, nagjo-joint pains and stuff like that, no? So in in one study, marathoners were six times more likely to catch colds. So isipin natin, no, mas magkakasipon pala yung mga nagmamarathon compared to those who complete, uh, uh, after completing the event than those who drop out during training. So kinompare nila yung mga season marathoners compared to those who drop out during training, hindi na nagtuloy, mas magkakasipon yung mga nagmamarathon ng 26.2 miles and up. So intense exercise lowers antibodies in saliva. So dito pa lang sa bibig natin, no? So may mga kontra-COVID na dito dapat. So pagpasok ng droplets sa ilong at sa bibig, sa saliva pa lang, mayroon nang dapat na kon, um, pangontra yung katawan natin, yung immune function natin against those infections. Pero with intense activity, sobra-sobrang trabaho, no? Nagdi-decrease na yung level ng antibody sa saliva and nagre-reduce yung activity of NK cells and neutrophils. So mga white blood cells sa dugo na lumalaban sa infection. So stress hormones which tend to suppress immune function may be the cause. So nag-increase yung stress hormone natin. So yung risk number two which is stress, chronic stress and risk number four which is moving too little or too much are actually related. Okay, tapos yung panglimang risk. No? So we're still talking about the risks. No? Poor diet, biggest cause of a weakened immune system in healthy people. Ayan. So if you don't take in enough calories, you may not get enough nutrients that are critical to good health. So pag narinig natin yung word na calories, no, we think of fat. No? Calories, fat. Uh, yeah. So those at risk for malnutrition include elderly, people with eating disorders or certain diseases, yung celiac disease or cancer, and people who are addicted to drugs or alcohol. When you restore the person to normal nutrition, the immune system improves. Okay, case in point, yung mother ko po. So my mom has dysphagia. Nahirapan siyang lumunok. So, ang, pres, ang recommendation ng doctor niya would have a PEG, yung peritoneal gastrostomy. So, dito ilalagay, bubutasan dito sa may chan, may lalagay na tubo pa diretso yung nutrition and medicines. Ayaw niya. So, nagka-bacterial pneumonia siya and she can no longer swallow food kasi the risk of uh, aspiration pneumonia. Okay, so, hello Sir Ronald Leones. Join us on YouTube. So, yung... 
um, aspiration nyo mo niya pupunta yung pagkain, hindi sa tubo papunta sa chan, kundi sa tubo papunta sa lungs. So that is very dangerous. Huh? So we needed to put in a feeding tube, yung NGT. Hello Mamanas, welcome po. Please subscribe sa YouTube. We're live on YouTube. And well PTV. Okay. So kung malnourished tayo, obviously we do not have the needed nutrition to boost our immune systems. Okay. So people who consume enough calories may be malnourished if their diets don't have enough nutrient-rich food. So may macronutrients at saka may micronutrients. So macronutrients yung sinasabing na go, glow, and grow. No? So usually uh, Filipinos are fond of eating rice. Ayan. So last August, I stopped eating rice. Until now, hindi pa naman ako kumakain ng rice. So I decreased the sugar. Hello, Sir Jojet. Welcome po sa live natin. If you would log into your YouTube account, join our live chat and uh, live streaming on uh, Noel PTV on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so junk food diet decrease the immune system pa din. So for example, refined sugar. So we are very fond of white sugar. Hello po, Sir Robert Manantan. White sugar. So what does white sugar do? So it inhibits. Tinitigal nito yung phagocytosis. So the process by which viruses and bacteria are engulfed and then literally chewed up by the white blood cells. So kung masyadong maraming intake natin ng refined sugar, may it be uh, sugar in our coffee or in our drinks, yung mga 3 and 1, ang daming white sugar yan, so, or white sugar in our food, or even sa mga bread, okay? So they put white sugar in it. Nawawala o nagdi-decrease yung process ng phagocytosis, kung saan, kinakain yung viruses and bacteria sa dugo. No? So may mga uh, white blood cells, mga um, soldiers of Im uh, immunity no? sa immunity natin. So they eat up the viruses and bacteria that enter the body. So kung masyadong mataas yung white sugar natin sa katawan, no? refined sugar, that process of phagocytosis is inhibited. So nagdi-decrease siya. So instead of being engulfed by the white blood cells, so your viruses and bacteria remain in the bloodstream, tapos magdadami siya ng dadami, and it infects multi-systems. And in this case, COVID sa pulmonary system. But other sim symptoms, they say, na magkakaroon din ng uh, loose bowel movement so sa, sa digestive system. And there are even symptoms of COVID toes na nagre-red na yung mga toes ng mga bata. So it, that, that means na it can invade even your joints and in your muscles. And some other cases, no, uh, may iba pang mga symptoms na hindi siya textbook. Although COVID, no, the, dati siyang uh, novel virus, bagong-bago, marami pang hindi alam dito. Pero marami na tayong alam tungkol our, about our immune systems that actually help us to heal or fight or prevent the infection from coming into our systems. Yeah. How about a diet high in fat? So polyunsaturated fat tends to suppress the immune system. So una na yung refined sugar. So polyunsaturated fat. Ayan. At uh, for example, yung mga fat from sa animal fat, mga ganun. Instead of, on the other hand, healthy omega-3 fatty acids. So nandun sa isda, sa mga seed oil, canola seed oil, or canola oil, flax seed, mga ganon. So they manufacture, they support the manufacture of immune cells that help control the inflammatory response. So kung masyadong mataas, hello sir, Jason Escaño, welcome po. Kung masyadong mataas, hello ma'am Evelyn Gumangan, medyo maaga po tayo nag-start. Uh, kung masyadong mataas yung polyunsaturated fat natin, yung mga sa animal fat, mga ganon, um, mas bababa yung immune system natin na makalaban sa COVID. No? So junk food diet can lead to obesity, another factor in suppressed immunity. Okay, one animal study. So may study na ginawa 
um, pinakain nila yung mga laboratory ma- mice ng high fat diet. Tapos yung isa na group naman, high carbohydrate diet. So yung mga pinakain ng taba na mga mice o mga daga, 31% body fat. Doon naman sa pinakain ng carbohydrates, 21% yung fat nila. So after 5 months, in-infect nila ng flu virus yung dalawang grupo ng mga daga. So compared with the leaner mice, yung group ng carbohydrates, the obese mice were 10 times more likely to die when infected. So the researchers found that the obese mice had significantly lower levels of two types of cytokines. So yung panlaban sa uh, infection, yung antiviral cytokines which help control vi- initial spread of virus and pro-inflammatory cytokines which trigger the recruitment of immune cells. So medyo technical mga terms niya, pero panlaban sa virus, tapos panlaban, um, panla- parang pampadami ng inflammation, yung dalawang yun, pro-inflammatory cytokines. Okay. So what does this study suggest? No? The grow, growing obese population is at risk for immune dysfunction during influenza infection. So I wonder if they have the data, no? kung may data sila, kung ilan yung obese persons na nagka-COVID. <laughs> so yung mga nagka-coronavirus na obese compared to those with normal body weight. No? Ayun. So yun yung limang ano natin. So limang limang risk natin for contracting. So kung meron kayo ng lima, no? Mas at risk tayo ng infect uh, contracting infections not only COVID but other diseases. Yeah. Ma'am Evelyn, hintay lang tayo ng kasama natin. Si Ma'am Ed, Edlyn Palara, I'm, I'm not sure if she is accepting po um, invites to subscribe to channels. Huh? Uh, she is a colleague po on doTERRA. doTERRA Wellness, sila yung nagpo-push for essential oils. Thank you for coming, Ma'am Evelyn Gumangan. Ayun. So yun yung five risk natin. So if you smoke, mataas yung risk. Even if you do not smoke, kahit hindi ka naninigarilyo, pero naaamoy mo. Secondary smoke, may kap- kasambahay ka o kapitbahay ka na nag O yung kasambahay mo, amoy yosi, yung damit. So second hand smoke, third hand smoke, same thing pa din. Tapos risk number two, you are constantly stressed. So overwork kayo, walang rest from your work. Uh, physical stress, emotional stress, laging mabigat yung karamdam, eh, kalooban. Psychological stress, and daming iniisip, hindi mapakali. Okay, that's still one risk. And number three, uh, sleep deprived, less than eight hours a night during the weekday. So parang kulang na kulang yung tulog. Uh, tapos inactivity, kulang sa galaw. At sobra sa galaw. So hindi rin pwede. And risk number five, poor diet. So yun yung mga five na risk factors natin for contracting COVID and other diseases. Okay, so we'll take a breather muna. So we've been 40 minutes since we started. Ma'am Edlin, Evelyn, ano lang tayo? Uh, stay tuned lang tayo sa mga kasama natin na maglalagin pa din. Ayan, off ko po muna dito sa live natin. Punta po kayo sa, sa YouTube natin for our discussion. Hello, Uncle Mayo, Auntie Nerma. So I'm doing the live stream again for YouTube and discussing the risks for contracting the COVID and other infectious disease and the seven power boosts to our immune system 
paano uh, ma-boost yung immune system against infectious disease. So, ako po muna dito sa uh, FB Live, tapos lipat lang po doon sa YouTube. Thank you po. Ayan, 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 ayan. So, medyo magulo pa rin po yung hair ko. So, yun po, we still have to increase our water intake, no? So, actually, yung nag-ready ako ng isang karton na, isang karton na tubig. So, we can start our water therapy. Ayan. So, unang bote. So ma'am Evelyn, 40 minutes po akong nagsalita dire-diretso. Yung nag-discuss ako nung risk, risk nun sa ano, five risk factors for infectious disease. So tubig po muna tayo. Baka meron po kasing pumasok na pasyente ng 11 a.m. So nag-start na ako ng live stream ng mas maaga, 10 a.m. Hi. Hello, Carlos TV. Welcome po. So for the past 40 minutes, we discussed yung uh, risk factors for the COVID. Um, in a few minutes, we'll be starting on our discussions on how to power boost our immune system. So pwede po kayong dumikit. Si Toshi Babad po ay ano ko yan. Huwag nyo na pong galawin. Ibabalik ko na lang po siya sa inyo. Si Ma'am Evelyn Gumangan na lang po. Si Ma'am Edlyn Palara... Ano po siya sa Dutera Wellness Advocates? I'm not sure if she's accepting naman po um, invitations to connect. Pero just invite her and then mag-feedback po ako sa kanya. Ayan, we're still waiting for others to come in before we start yung number one na power boost to our immune system against COVID and other infectious disease. Ayan. So recap lang po doon for those who have not heard it. So yung lima, five na risk factors or high risk for contracting the coronavirus infectious disease, number one, if you smoke, you are at a high risk. And if you stop smoking, it takes 30 days bago mag-level up yung immune system. Uh, number two, chronic stress, yung continuous na nagtatrabaho, hindi nagpapahinga, may that be physical, emotional, or psychological stress. So, nagdi-decrease din siya ng immune function. Number three, um, kulang sa tulog. No? If we have less than eight hours on every at night, on weeknights, no? magdi-decrease din yung immune system natin. Tapos, yung isa, uh, kulang, kulang sa galaw. So, inactivity, so couch potato, lagi nanonood lang TV, or sobra-sobra, sobra-sobra sa galaw. Like yung mga nagmamarathon ng ilang kilometro, mga 40 kilometers kanya. They are at higher risk for contracting the disease. Tapos yung panglima, poor diet. So kung masyadong mataas yung intake natin ng refined sugar, bababa din yung immune system natin. Hindi kakainin ng white blood cells yung virus at bacteria na papasok sa katawan. 
Tapos kung masyadong mataas yung body weight natin, uh, level 1 obese or level 2 obese. So may higher at risk din kasi mas mababa yung immune system. Ayan. So ganun lang siya yung lima. Lima na risk factors natin. So mamaya, power boost number 1. So we'll take a break. Babalik din po ako sa Ayan, 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 ayan. So medyo napaaga lang po yung start natin kanina kasi I'm, I'm expecting a client at 11am kung matutuloy siya. So hindi pa ako nag-check actually ng messages, kung may messages sila. Okay. Dito po ako, uh, Carlos TV, nag-broadcast live, live stream po ako dito sa San Fernando City, La Union. So dito po sa clinic, sa Integrative Physical Therapy and Wellness Center. So ako po ay isang registered physical therapist at uh, aspiring na natu naturopathic physician. So doctor of um, naturopathy or natural healing. So ang focus po ng ating mga live sharing ngayon is to boost our immune system, yung panlaban ng katawan natin kontra COVID and other infectious diseases po.
Eh magsasara lang po ako ng pintana ng sasakyan kasi mukhang ulan na. Ayan, balik din na po ako. Ayan, medyo malamig na dito. Hi, hello po. Hello, Rocky FMJ. <laughs> Nalpasa ko na nag-discuss ti ko ah. Nag-discuss ti risks for COVID and other infectious diseases. So, ano na power boosts na?
Ang tudon sa matan. Ang tudon. Okay, ang oras ay ganap ng 10.56 ng umaga. Okay, the first power boost to our immune system, so after we discussed the five risk factors, no? so it's actually power boost number one. No, wala yung kodigo ko. Siyempre, nutrition, pagkain. So sabi nga nila, pero sa Pilipinas, a banana a day, no? or an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. So ano ba yung kailangan natin, no? What uh, dietary extras or no, dietary regimen, yung daily na diet natin so that we can increase our immune uh, function. Balanced diet. Okay, so we have uh, nutritional superstars. Kailangan yung diet natin no? ay mayroong selenium, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, um, vitamin D, vitamin E, zinc. Okay. So dun muna tayo mag-focus na no? yung mga vitamins na yun. So why do we need this no, to boost our immune function? No? So i-type ko lang. Uh, 
um, selenium, vitamin A, B6, C, D, E, zinc, and and zinc. So ilan yun? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pa din, no? Um, uh, nutritional superstars, no? Sa so, una is selenium, tapos vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin E and zinc. Yeah, I. That's zinc actually. Along letter Z. Yeah, that's right. Selenium sources might include whole grains, nuts, seeds, broccoli, and fish. And so potent antioxidant, no yung selenium, it plays an important role in immune function, protecting immune cells against free radical damage. And it helps regulate T cells production of proteins called cytokines, a process that's essential for launching a quick and vigorous immune response to an acute infection. Studies have shown selenium deficiency, kung kulang sa selenium, contributes to impaired immune function and supplementation improves immune system's production of antibodies in response to foreign invaders. So kung kulang sa selenium, mag-boost through whole grains, nuts, seeds, broccoli, broccolo? Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli, Broccoli and fish. And yung vitamin A naman, which is also common. So sa vitamin A, we have, ang dami, no? Uh, dark green leafy vegetables. Ganyan. Okay. 
Okay, that's right. The dark green, uh, leafy vegetables, bell peppers, squash, cabbage, cantaloupe, no? the carrots, and sweet potatoes. So, meron silang beta carotene. So, beta carotene. Bell peppers, um, squash cabbage, carrots, yeah, so my beta carotene sila. Right? So it's the anti-infective vitamin, no? Vitamin A, anti-infective vitamin. Deficiency of vitamin A, increased risk of infection. Again, uh, vitamin A to maintain healthy levels of circulating T cells. Again, so vitamin A, naturally protective barrier against bacteria submucous membrane, no? Uh, vitamin A enhances activity of WBC, attack, engulf, destroy, and clean up infected cells. And vitamin A. And of course, for our vitamin B, so our sources for vitamin B include um, fish, poultry, lean, fish, poultry, lean meats, whole grains, leafy greens, Banana spawns peanuts. That's B6. No? Banana spawns peanuts. Walnuts, chickpeas. Yeah, so vitamin B6. Na? Supports activity of white blood cells. Ayan. So kung nawala yung B6, babagsak ang immune function. Uh, around 50 milligrams of B6 per day to restore immune function to a level equal to or better than before the study. So just 50 milligrams of B6 per day. And so we do not need supplementation. We just need to eat fish, poultry, lean meats, whole grains, leafy greens, bananas, prunes, peanuts, walnuts, and chickpeas. And our favorite vitamin C. So, so vitamin C, we um maramia, no oranges and grapefruit. Uh, bell peppers, broccoli. Uh, cantaloupe. Kiwi fruit. Ang kanyan ba sa Pilipinas? Uh, kiwi fruit, strawberries, uh, sweet potatoes, tomatoes. Ayan. And more sources of vitamin C. So my mom, we have increased vitamin C kasi may infection siya ngayon. So we, even just 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Potent antioxidants. Antioxidant protects immune cells. From free radical damage. Uh, vital to production of white blood cells. So kung mataas naman ang ibibigay, nakakadayariya. And it does not decrease your risk. Okay? So kung nagsa-supplemental dose tayo, kung masyadong mataas, 
it would actually interfere, inhibit the release of histamine, an inflammatory chemical that causes a runny nose and respiratory congestion. Ayan. So we took, we take antihistamine, no? Kung nagsisipon tayo. So just supplemental dose, no? 500 milligrams a day could actually decrease the histamine production, no? So actually 60 milligrams nga yung provided. Pero yung preparation ng tablets natin usually mga 500 milligrams. Okay, so we have vitamin D. So we have eggs, butter, fortified milk. Yeah, so we're now on vitamin D. Uh, essential for maintaining strong bones and preventing osteoporosis. Helps thymus gland generate sufficient number of immune cells. So vitamin D present in most multivitamins and calcium supplements. So um, a few minutes of sunlight per day can also help restore your supply. So 400 IU international units. Top food sources include the eggs, butter, and fortified milk. Okay. And then we have vitamin E. So vitamin E, we have wheat germ, molasses. Whole grains, nut seeds. Ayan. Thank you, Uno Kinesio. So vitamin E, antioxidant sacrifices its own electrons to cell damaging free radicals, effectively neutralizing them. So neutralizer in vitamin E. Raises level of inter interferon and interleukin chemicals produced by the immune system to fight infection. So top sources include wheat germ, molasses, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. And lastly, we have the zinc. Ayan. So zinc, the last one for our seven nutritional power uh, power nutritions, uh, nutritional powerhouses. So zinc is actually a mineral uh, with ability to lessen severity and duration of colds. So it plays a critical role in maintaining immune response. It helps stabilize and protect primary barriers against infectious organisms your skin and mucous membranes, so pinapalakas niya, and promote development of immune cells. So mostly we do not have a high uh, supply of zinc, so this uh, increases our risk for infection. So it has to be zinc for antioxidant properties. No? So top food sources include fish, shellfish, skinless poultry, lean cuts of pork and beef. So lean cuts of pork are label labeled leanest cuts of beef, loin, or round. Whole grains also contain some zinc. So whole grains also contain some zinc. Okay. So stop muna tayo dun sa mga seven food, uh, seven nutritional superstars. Seven nutritional superstars. So let's review your diet, no? Let's review our diet if we do have these seven nutritional superstars. No? So, panalo pala yung, ano, panalo pala yung sweet potatoes, no? Yung um, sweet potato is patatas. No, kamote. So, kamote, no? So, broccoli, ganyan. Strawberry, 
uh, tomato, no? uh, whole grains, mga buto-buto, nut seeds. So they are very rich in immune boosting um, properties. Okay. So we'll stop from there again and I'll check on my uh, client no? kung paparating siya or not. Okay, mag-music muna tayo. Sana may music naman. Ito sa music. Enjoy right.
Okay, end ko lang po dito yung part po na ito. And then we'll come for a live stream for friendship. Thank you po. Um, eight minutes to go and then we'll end this up. So tomorrow we'll continue our discussions on the power boost number one, no? proper nutrition. Paano palalakasin yung immune system natin para malabanan ng COVID at iba pang mga infeksyon. So sa susunod po na live stream after mag-end nito, mga pakikipagkaibigan na po, friendships na ang focus natin. Thank you po for watching this. I hope you like this. You leave your comments below and we'll get back to you. And also subscribe to our channel and kalimbangin ang bell para sa mas maraming content on health, wellness, and more. A sharing among friends. Thank you po. Good morning.
yet. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. Got no makeup. How do you look so fine? Bust up, bust up. How did I make you mine? Stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, love is coming. Stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, love is coming. Thank <laughs> you. 